We're on a 8230 today, same as the 9230 in this regard for changing the chopper bearing. We're on the left side here, side with the belts on, <clears throat> and then we just change this to the new style. And the old style is this one here with the three little set screws. So when you loosen off these set screws, pound this thing in and it'll move this collar in so that it unlocks it. Here's a picture of, <clears throat> of what it looks like when it's out. So there's little grooves in here that are uh, ramped and the bearing is ramped. And when this is pushed into the bearing, it locks it in. Same as this shaft. This one here I'm gonna have to reuse. Except this one, <clears throat> this one has an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve. So this was the pulley, four set screws. We changed two bearings inside here and one on the other side. This whole piece comes out as one assembly. I had to put a uh, bearing puller a three jaw bearing puller on the shaft here or on the grooves <clears throat> and pull her out. It actually came out pretty good. Huge snap ring there. <clears throat> so putting it on, I'll have to line up this shaft and get it on there. The dual filter we just moved up out of the way to access these pulleys. And there's the uh, large pulley, it just has two keyways with an insert, an inside keyway and an outside keyway. There you go.